Hi there, I'm Damien from Codefights. In this video, we're going to talk about depth-first search and breadth-first search, commonly referred to as DFS and BFS. They're used in finding a specific node in trees and graphs, which means they'll come in very handy during technical interviews. Let's say we've got a tree of the numbers in our phone book, organized by the person's name. If we want to find a particular name in this tree, we'd just use binary search. But if we wanted to find someone by their phone number, DFS or BFS would be a better option. Let's dive into these two search strategies. In DFS, you start at the root of the tree, or at a specific node if it's a graph, and then search as far as possible along each branch before you backtrack. DFS is good for searching fat trees, or trees that are wider than they are deep. For BFS, you start at the root of the tree, or a selected node in a graph, and search each subsequent level of nodes before moving on to the next level. DFS is good for searching tall trees, or trees that are deeper than they are wide. For DFS, the greatest number of nodes we ever have to search is the height of the tree. Many trees are designed to minimize height. This means that DFS usually doesn't take much space in memory, making it a good strategy. The downside of DFS is that in the rare case where there's a very long, deep path, the algorithm spends a lot of time exploring, meaning it can take a long time to execute and take up a lot of memory. In a technical interview, DFS is good for solving puzzles that only have one solution, like mazes. BFS will explore nodes that are close to the source node first. BFS returns the shortest path between nodes, rather than simply telling us whether there's a path at all. But the downside is that BFS can take up a lot of memory. In a full binary tree, the amount of memory used grows exponentially with the distance from the root. In a technical interview, BFS is a great option for problems about finding the shortest path between two nodes in a graph, or printing hierarchies in order. DFS is most naturally implemented using recursion, or a stack, while BFS is implemented using a queue. See the read more section of our in-depth tutorial for details on how to implement DFS and BFS. To highlight the difference between using depth-first and breadth-first searches, let's use the organizational chart of the Codefights Cafe as an example. As you can see, the owner of the cafe is at the root of the tree, the department heads are at the next level, and the middle managers who report to the department heads are on the third level, and so on. The search strategy you use will depend on the type of problem you're trying to solve. For example, let's say you're searching for a particular employee by name. In this case, it makes the most sense to use DFS, because the height of this tree is 4, which is smaller than the 5 people on the third level. But what if you're searching for the highest ranking person available for a shift? Then BFS would be a better choice because it only explores a lower level once it's exhausted all possibilities at the current level. For both of these problems, you could have used either DFS or BFS to find the answer, but one was better suited to the question. This is true for most problems. The data structure you're searching and the constraints of the problem you're solving will indicate the use of one search strategy instead of the other. The more you practice, the more you'll be able to recognize whether DFS or BFS is the best choice in a given situation. Go to Interview Practice to read our in-depth tutorial, complete with DFS and BFS implementation codes, and to practice on real interview questions. Thanks for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Codefights YouTube channel.